Starting off the tour, we have a very simple gatehouse with some great angles both into and out of the compound. Coming inside, we have two auto turrets covering each entrance. The compound is separated by three bedrooms. These spawn points allow you to flank your enemy and also offer great angles into the compound. Coming outside we can see that these ramps offer great angles into the opposite side of the compound in case of a breach. Moving inside the base we have a standard double door single door airlock. Moving to the base we have space for deployables such as furnaces and your workbench and your secondary loot rooms. Coming up to our shooting floor we have space for more deployables and a bedroom. These three windows offer great angles towards the raid base and have hidden loot underneath them. Moving to the next area of the shooting floor, we have simple windows for some great angles into the compound and single door roof peaks that can be used to drop into your compound from above. Coming down to the core of the base, we have space for your main loot room and of course your TC. And here is the base's upkeep. The core is sealed with this triangle staircase bunker as shown. You can open this bunker by simply destroying the two twig triangles. To start the build you want to place three triangles for your starter core. When you're ready to progress, you can seal in the bottom core and then add the roof ramp. Make sure when adding honeycomb to the triangle behind the ladder hatch, you add a half height floor. This will be used to do your bunker. This floor is used to access your base. When adding your jump up, make sure you do a half height floor and then add your door and do not seal the top as this will be access to your shooting floor later. When adding the stone honeycomb, make sure you add the two stone foundations next to it, otherwise you will not be able to place this when you place the roofs.
Placing your double door, make sure it faces outwards. This will give you the airlock. When doing the hidden loot rooms, make sure you place the two boxes first before the window frame, otherwise you will not be able to place two boxes. Then simply seal the shooting floor like so. Next, you want to come outside and do your three external bedrooms. Make sure to upgrade this floor to sheet metal to prevent soft side raiding. Simply repeat this on all three sides. This is what the base should look like. Next we'll be doing the turret pods. Once you've done all three sides, come up to the shooting floor and complete it as shown. When placing the single doors, make sure they open inwards. This is what the base should look like. Next, come onto your roof and complete the honeycomb. On all three sides, add frames and then chain link fences. Next we'll do the gatehouse. Make sure to place these frames to connect to the main TC. Simply repeat this on all three sides. When placing the high external walls, make sure you place the ones either side of the gatehouse first.
Once these have been placed, you can then connect to the edge of the bedrooms. Next, add barricades on all three sides. If you have issues placing the turrets, you may want to upgrade the roof above to sheet metal. Placing the siren lights, make sure that they clip to the lowest position possible, as shown. Each small battery should power the turret on the same side.
When you're ready to log off, you can then seal the bunker as shown.